Hello and welcome back everyone. This is your quest master Shreyansh on the quest introduction to Rust. In this specific sub quest, we'll be talking about the match statement, which allows you to do exhaustive pattern matching. Let's start by declaring a variable called x on which we'll match. The syntax for match is match followed by the variable you want to match on followed by the different branches. These branches are essentially what's responsible for checking what the value of the variable you've provided is. In this case, we'll add one and two. We'll just print out that the value of X is one or two, depending on it. And finally, we'll add an underscore, which is a catch all. It means anything which is not defined in the branches comes here. So we will just say the value of X is invalid. Let's move into the terminal and do a cargo run because the value of X was one. It prints that out. Great. Let's change it to two and let's try again. Cargo run and we see the value of X is two. Finally, we'll change this to something else. Let's say three in this case and this branch should execute. We do cargo run again, and we see that the value of X is invalid. Exhaustive pattern matching basically means that all possible values for a given expression, or in this case, a variable should be accounted for in the match branches. Let's look at this a little more in detail by defining two variables, which will contain bools. We'll say X and Y, and we'll just set them to true. Let's try figuring out the truth table for this, which contains all possible combinations for this specific set of values. We'll start by when both are true. We'll also add when both are false. The third possible case I see is X is false and Y is true. And similarly, when X is true and Y is false. Let's try writing an if else if ladder for this. Now, because these are only four conditions, writing all the possible outcomes should be fairly straightforward. But as you can imagine, number of variables increase, so does the complexity. In our case, we have X and Y are true, which means that the first branch of the if else if ladder should trip and we should see X and Y are true. Let's run this with cargo run and we see X and Y are true. Let's change Y now and we'll change that to false, which means that the first condition follows through, the second does, and we now trip on the third one, which is else if X and not Y, which should print out X is true and Y is false. Let's do a cargo run again and we see X is true and Y is false. Now, as the number of variables increase, one might find that they forget to add a possible outcome, which means that our if else if ladder now does not cover all possible cases. What this could mean is that you might have bugs in your code, which are extremely difficult to reproduce and debug. Let's see how Matt solves. Let's see how Matt solves this issue. We will start by declaring a tuple X and Y. We're declaring a tuple because we have two possible values to match. And it, this is the idiomatic way of doing things. We'll first add the first condition true and true, and we'll print out X and Y are true like we did before. We'll also add false and false. So the second condition is met. Let's try adding the third one in this case, true and false. So we'll, we'll say X is true and Y is false. Now you might notice that the math statement is giving us an error. It says non-exhaustive patterns, false, true, not covered. So it forces you to think of all possible outcomes of a given expression. Let's fix this error by adding the last case, which is false and true. We'll also update the code here saying X is false and Y is true. Perfect. Now we can try running this in the terminal. Let's do a cargo run and we see X is true and Y is false. Perfect. Let's try changing the value here to true and true, do a cargo run again, and we see X and Y are true. Sometimes we want to ignore a case because our business logic calls for it. In this case, let's say we were to assume that X is false and Y is true is never possible. We'll delete that statement and we see it gives an error. How do you fix it? We can use the underscore branch or the catch all branch and we'll just print out invalid combination. This should fix the error and this should also cover our bases. Now to trip this, let's change X to false and let's try running this in the terminal where we see invalid combination. 